Good morning and welcome to Winnipeg. Welcome to once again a nice bright sunshiny Winnipeg. Now speaking of the sunshine, tonight at midnight, well I guess technically I think it's around 2 in the morning, Sunday morning, pizza day morning, <laughs> we turn our clocks one hour ahead. We, we go on to daylight savings time. And uh, so that means that if we turn our clocks ahead and you don't, uh, the, the, the 5 p.m. Winnipeg Time Model Show is going to air one hour earlier. So, <laughs> yeah. Anyway, I just mentioned that. There, it's, it's amazing. There are probably about, oh, I'm guessing uh, about 100 people that, that view this show as soon as it comes out. Uh, I'm I'm so honored. Thank you. Thank you. I, I I really feel honored that people are some people anyway are waiting for the show to come out. Okay, enough about that. Okay, so uh daylight savings time is taken care of. Now uh at least two people have commented to the effect of maybe you could use your GoPro at the model table. Well, no, no, it won't work. It's not that kind of camera, I'll, and I'll, I'll demonstrate why. Uh, and, and I also mentioned that I'll show you how it works on my helmet, how I've got it set up. So I'll do that today. I won't waste a lot of time at it. Uh, I made a mistake yesterday. When, when I was uh, painting these little parts, uh, and I was, you know, I, I was... Uh, holding them on here and I was holding them over the little black dot and trying to do my best. Well, I didn't realize it, but because the lens was coming, well, I, I did realize it, but I didn't think about it. The lens was coming down like this and I was holding the part over the dot. So the, the, the angle w w the, uh, to the film plane on the camera was a little bit off. And I was often way too close to the lens, and it was slightly out of focus. I would have actually had have done a lot better if I had have just used maybe the ordinary lens. In other words, the lens that's on right now, it focuses in, I can move in pretty close. And uh, you know the old saying that I've often used, less is more? Well, I think probably if we had a, had a wider view, uh, it, it, it would have been a little sharper. I was I was just too close. Sorry about that. I was disappointed. Uh, okay. Uh, I did not come back to the model table. I did not touch up the the uh, microphone here where the where the tweezers hanging on. Um, I'm going to quickly do that off camera. I don't think I need to give anything a second coat. Uh, there was one of these. Uh, that I noticed when I was editing that uh, I could see where, where the there was bare plastic showing through. Uh, I might I might touch that one up. Um, I I maybe should should not have used this number twenty three. I should have maybe used something a little darker. But as as, as best I remember, most of these little boxes mount on on places on on these things like you you can see here that there's one two three four five six seven you know there, there's uh, and on this one that there's uh, eight nine almost all of these boxes mount uh, against the, the brown so I think it's I think it's gonna look okay but before we do that uh, we're gonna have to be messing around with decals and uh, Yeah, actually, uh, it, it appears that, uh, yeah, it, it looks like, uh, remember, I was, I was wondering about, what was it, these ones right here, these uh, these dials? Well, they have a decal in, in them. There's some kind of a, a clock-type dial. Um, okay, so uh, I, think, I, think, well, I think it's going to go pretty good. Um, yeah, I think it's going to go pretty good. Uh, what else was I going to mention? The sunrise. We did have a nice sunrise, and we're getting about a, a four-hour 
head start on yesterday. Yesterday we didn't get started till just after uh, 12 o'clock if I remember right. And so we're getting a bit of a head start. Maybe we'll actually get a little bit more accomplished here. Um, not that it matters. And uh, uh, Oh, the sunrise. I started to talk about it. I'm going to have to readjust the camera because I'm noticing that the sunrise is coming up. Uh, you know, in be in between the two towers now of the uh, of the of the bridge, and it's going to progressively keep working its way more and more and more to the left until it's way over and almost <laughs> what I what I think of as being straight north of the house, but the house is at a 45 degree angle, so I guess it's going to be northeast. Anyway, uh, let's get at it here. Okay, I'm guessing maybe half an hour ago now I was getting ready to touch up our microphone here. And uh, anyway, uh, while I'm working away at this, uh, our friend Missy comes to the door. And uh, I, I open the door and I'm talking to the neighbor and... Uh, beside my garbage can there's an Amazon envelope and I'm thinking uh, I guess somebody's envelope blew, blew into our yard and I said to the neighbor something to the effect of uh, you know what we'll talk about it later I don't remember what I ordered <laughs> okay there is something in there and it's got my name on it so uh Oh, for heaven's sakes. Made in the USA. Now that's a pleasant surprise. Okay, uh... Uh... These were not cheap. <laughs> Okay, uh, you know what? This is this is clearly a gift from somebody. Um, <laughs> I don't know who to thank, but uh, but thank you, thank you very much. Okay, so I guess the idea is I'm supposed to be using these to nip my sprues and save the to me a nipper for some for for the for the really good stuff. I think that's probably what this is all about. It's taking a while for this to all settle set in. <laughs> I think we were talking about these about a month ago, weren't we? Okay, well, once again, thank you very much. Uh, the, the, it doesn't say anything on here about it being a gift or anything, but... Uh, okay. <laughs> oh, my goodness, my goodness. Okay. Now, according to the manufacturer, these are called a flush cutter. And uh, it looks like it is fairly precision ground here. Um, I think the best thing to do is to... Tr I haven't tried it yet. I think we f find ourselves a piece of sprue that has something protruding on it and see if we can cut it off. Um, yeah, it'd be kind of interesting to see. It's, it's quite possible these are going to be actually better than the... Than the uh, you know, the Tamiya nippers. Well, we'll see what happens. It's nice to have a second pair. Okay, well, let's get a piece of sprue and, uh, and try it out. Maybe we'll put the macro lens on. Now, we are in step 21 at the moment. But if I page ahead to step 22, we need a little part here called K35, and I've, I've just gone ahead and nipped it off. And I, p I chose this part because it has a, a, a place on it where you can really check 
to see how well it will flush cut. Now, this is actually going to be the first cut I've done with it. These cuts that I've done here, here, and here, I, did, I used my old Tamiya nipper for that. I want this to be nice and fresh. Uh, okay, we'll we'll go ahead though, and we'll just we'll just quickly remove this one. Well, that worked. Okay, now you can you can see right here, we've got a a place where we can test this out. I do have the macro lens on, but I'm I'm backed off. Just let me reposition a little bit here. Okay, let's try not to let my finger block the light here. And I'm going to press down and hold it tight. Now I'm going to want to make sure that I've got got this about as as flush as possible here. So otherwise, it's not going to be a fair test, is it? Well, here we go. How well did it do there? Hmm. Maybe what happened was I... Is it maybe... Uh, let's get rid of that. Are the jaws maybe not closing exactly? Okay, you know what? This just for the fun of it. I think that the, these are going to be perfect for what they are intended for. Okay, now let's be careful not to accidentally move that out of the field of view here. Now we'll take the old Tamiya nipper and see if it'll get anything that this couldn't get. The Tamiya nippers are probably a little bit more precise, but as I said, these are going to be perfect for what I'm pretty sure they were intended for, and that is to save my Tamiya nipper. Um, what what I should have done, possibly, instead of coming in this way, I should have held it more, more this way. Uh, it might have done a better job. Yeah. Yeah, anyway. Uh, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Okay, as long as we have the macro lens on here, let's take a look at the microphone. And I'm just going to kind of roll it a little bit here with Mr. T's pointing device. In this case, it's going to be the poking device. And uh, if you remember, I had to touch it up right about here where I'm touching right now. Because the uh, tweezer was sort of blocking the paint. Okay, I think it's going to be all right. You know, cons considering that it's going to be something we're not going to see anyway. And if you remember when we painted it yesterday, th this that I'm sticking the pointing device in right now, not so much right there, but the other side of right there, if I can get it here, there, is it, it was completely f flooded over, and, and, the, uh, and the paint shrunk wrap around pretty good. So we, we didn't lose too much detail there. It, it came out pretty good. At least, at least I think it came out pretty good. Okay, enough poking. Now, if you are somebody who is coming up to my house to make a delivery, you can't help but see the delivery box. It's even got a, a sign on it. I was going to say a little sign, but it's uh, you know, quite, quite legible. It says delivery box. You can't help but see that. Um, anyway, but to just uh, take the package and throw it in the snow, <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'm not too happy with that. I think uh, I think that things could have been done di a little bit differently. In fact, I don't think I know they could have been done differently. And usually they are. Okay, what we just saw was, you might say, a little bit annoying, wasn't it? However, I've been thinking about it here. And... Uh, you know, uh, I, re I replayed uh, some of that footage when he was walking up to the to the car here, or up to the house rather. He, uh, he it sounded like he was talking to somebody on his phone, like he maybe had one of those uh, hands hands free phones, and uh, he might have been a little bit distracted. And he might have been, you know, a really nice guy. He, he probably made plastic models. Yeah, might have even had his own model show. <laughs> anyway, bottom line is, next time Jeff invites me to have coffee with him on his yacht, uh, I will not mention this because uh, I don't want to get the guy in trouble. <laughs> I mean, that was nothing compared with some of the stuff I had to put up with the last four years I worked at the bus depot. There, there was two guys there that were, in my opinion, they were literally morons. And if that was my outfit, they would have been so gone. It seemed that they knew just exactly how far they could go, and the union could still protect them. <laughs> anyway, let's carry on here. Remember I showed I told you I was going to show you what I've come up with well this is this is basically it All right I'll just uh, stick this thing on and uh <laughs> and I'll show you <laughs> Okay Here's hoping that this helmet is not going to let me make a fool of myself here and I can't get it on or some crazy thing. It's kind of heavy. At least I think it's kind of heavy. Maybe it's not. Maybe I'm just getting weak. Yeah, get my ears tucked in. All right, this isn't going to fall off. And there we go. Now, there's two things I got to remember. First of all, take the lens cap off. Otherwise, the footage is going to be a little bit dark. And then I have to turn it on, and I. I have to go by feel here. There's a little button on the top there. And if I press it once... Okay, we should be uh, up and running right now. And, uh, yeah, I'll, I'll dub in the footage in the, in the uh, corner up there. And, uh, yeah, it, I, well, I was talking about how you could not use this at the model table. Uh, it, it would be no good at the model table. And and here's the reason why. It does not focus close. <clears throat> Let's see if I can find something that has some writing on it here. Uh, like maybe my macro lens here. And I'll, I'll move it in really close. Now I'm going to have to kind of watch. Alright. Hopefully that was a good demonstration. Um, well, I, I can't, I can't focus it. There's no, no way you can focus. It's not, it's not like a cell phone that automatically focuses itself. It's, it's not designed for that. It's designed for, for distance. Uh, 
and uh, and for that it works really well. Uh, okay, so uh, let's. Uh, what do we got here? Uh, Ten minutes after one. I think we got time to do a little more. Okay. At least one viewer mentioned something that I had discovered as well, and that is it's a good idea to not leave the, the numbers on the decal because the numbers will come loose. They're, they're separate, obviously, <clears throat> and yet they are, they are a decaled item. And the, the numbers will break apart and can get underneath your decal and end up where you don't want them. So in other words, we, we've done this one, this one, this one, and this one, and this one. Um, and uh, they, if you remember, they went more or less successfully. At least for, for me, they were successful. So that brings us down to the next one here, which is number 20. And... Uh, that is this one right here. Okay, just let me zoom in just a little bit here. And we are going to want to break our stick off. You know, I'm wondering if maybe I should, uh, I should maybe file that because th this thing here has to sit on top of a, on top of a desk and it's going to be kind of precarious if it's got this little yeah, just let me, uh, I'm not going to stick the macro lens on or anything. Maybe I could use uh, just a moment here what I do with them. Okay, I'm just going to try the uh, Tamiya nipper here and see if it can cut that off. Mm, probably not as good as a sanding stick would have. Yeah, I'm. I'm just going to uh, maybe. I'll, maybe I'll use Chris's file. That might work better. Yeah, that's 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 better. Okay. Um, So what we're gonna what we're gonna need now is number twenty, which is right here, and uh, it, it it's so obvious that I I don't mind taking and cutting the twenty away. Uh, I'm just gonna go ahead and and get this off, and uh, I don't know if we're gonna have time to actually get into you know actually applying the decal. Um, okay. Uh, let me think about this a moment. Okay, once again, two things. First of all, I think this blade is probably still sharp. And I've got a second thing, it's like a little dot right there. And the idea is if I can envision where that where that dot is and keep my subject right over top of it, we should be good to go here. Now, uh, did I say I was not going to put the macro lens on? Well, I'm sorry. I just I just can't help myself. Okay. A another viewer made the comment that he found that if he was to cut as close as possible to the... Okay. I can't talk and work at the same time. Maybe, I'm, maybe that's too close. I think I can I can do a more accurate job with the with a hobby knife than I can with a pair of scissors. Cause I'm sort of looking straight over top of it here. Now I hope I'm not going too close. Whoops! I cut the corner off. Now. Um, I don't know if I, uh, I want to have a little bit of a tab to hold on to here. 
So maybe I should go down like this. And then like this. And then I'll have something to hold on to here. At least that's the plan. Oh, I forgot the top. No, I, d I did the top, didn't I? I thought I did. Yeah, I did the top. Okay, it was just sort of stuck in there. All right. All right. Come on. Right, I think we did okay. And and I can I can hold on to this little thingy here. Okay. Here's what's been happening. For the last uh, maybe two months or so, I have had the been having the bad habit of thinking to myself, I'll just shoot one more scene, one more scene. And then what happens is it gets too close to the time when I should cut things off and I find out that I'm got a whole bunch of editing to do. In this case I got to try and sync up that camera with that camera and you know it takes a little bit of time. I enjoy doing it. I'm not complaining, believe me. It's kind of a fun thing for me. Uh, so I'm going to cut her off and if you remember yesterday I was mentioning that my neighbor was going to come for coffee today because he couldn't come yesterday. Well he is. And uh, so uh, I'm going to have to call her quits here. Oh and uh, as for these, if the person that, uh, that sent these wants to let me know who they are, uh, yeah that'd be nice. And on the other hand it could be uh, you want to remain anonymous and that, that's fine too. Either way, thank you. Uh, okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna wrap it up for today. So uh, thanks for watching, everybody, and all being well, we're gonna see you tomorrow.